This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the FreeTag F35 Cheyenne, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So starting with the exterior here, um, and as you can see, it's a very kind of shiny, and because it's white, you probably can't see the highlights so much, but it is actually um, pretty much all recycled materials here. It's a PVC coated truck tarp. So the back of like the truck semis has that tarp material and this is recycled um, truck tarps. So it does look very neat and kind of stylish, but if you do smell it, it kind of has that like old school automotive smell to it. If that makes sense, like an old school, like seventies car, if you were to like smell the seat, um, it's kind of what it smells like and it hasn't gone away. It's gone away a little bit. So maybe in due time, it will go away. Um, but for now, it's just that kind of like old leathery uh, material. And something else to note is it does have a PVC coating on it. And on their website and on the tag on the inside, it says like you really don't want to get this thing close to your mouth. You don't want to, I think it says don't eat it. Uh, don't, yeah, just don't get it anywhere near your mouth, which is odd for a, a toiletry pouch. But um, obviously, I don't think anybody's going to eat this. But if you were thinking about it, uh, please don't. The other material on this is also used seatbelts. So um, lots of good recycled materials here and they're very, very durable as we will go through. <clears throat> um, but the, the logo here is pretty boisterous. It's pretty large, but for the bag, you know, it kind of feels like automotive-y and um, I don't mind it so much. If you're a you know, big fan of minimal minimalism and you don't like big tags, it is pretty large, has a very large, uh, you know, real estate there on the front, but it, it does look nice and it, it suits the bag pretty well. We have this nice handle here on the side. It's nylon, not super comfortable, but you're not gonna be carrying it for extended periods of time. If you have a bigger hand, I don't have huge hands and I found when it's stuffed, it is kind of hard to get your hand in there, which can be nice too, because it's not going to, it's not loose. It's not like wobbling around or anything like that. So you do have a good hold of it, but if you have a bigger hand, when this is packed out, it is kind of hard to get your hand in there. It's not terribly uncomfortable though, especially if you grab it from the top down because it's, it's like nylon and it's folded. So if you grab from this side, you're on that fold, which is kind of rounded. I'm not sure if you can see that. So it's, it's not uncomfortable really. I mean, if, if you were to carry it for a long period of time, you might get a little uncomfortable. Or if you were to grab it from this side, it's a little flatter. They do a pretty good job of uh, making it stay together, but it is a little bit more uncomfortable if you grab it from the bottom because you have the two pieces going into you instead of the rounded part. And we're not so sure about the, the zippers here. We're not sure what the brand is, but they are very, very smooth. Um, when it's full around the corners, it is a little slow, but even then, like that's not uh, getting caught up and this is packed full right now. And these zipper tags are large. You know, If they get wet, they are slippery, but they have the hole which allows you to kind of grab onto that if it's wet and you need a little bit of extra pull. And they do have the weather sealing here as well. So that'll keep stuff out, but also if you were to have a spill inside, hopefully it will keep stuff in. Another thing to note about this thing is obviously it is not clear. So if you're going through TSA and you have a bunch of liquids in there, you're going to need to open it up and take your stuff out so the TSA agent can go through it. If you were to have a clear one, you wouldn't have to do that. But it does look very nice, so it's a nice trade-off for the, the ease of going through TSA. But we will hop into the inside now. We've stowed it full of lots of toiletries at the moment, and that zipper I forgot to close. But as you can see, it's kind of like almost like a, a clamshell opening here. It opens up all the way, and you can really access everything with something that's more of like an accordion and you could kind of like opens like that. You can't really see everything and you can really get a good look at everything that's in here all the time. Right now I just kept two of these go tubes. We've got some Kleenex, some deodorant, a towel you could use to uh, wash off your face or just good to have with you. Some hair, Paul made a razor and some chapstick. So as you can see now, the main compartment is you know, very, very large and in charge. There, this material on the outside, as you can expect with that PVC coating, it doesn't have any give and it's very, very durable. Like it, it, you can manipulate it, but you're not pushing out, like you're not getting anything extra. So sometimes if your items are different shapes and sizes, um, 
it's not going to be a perfect fit and you might have a little bit of wasted space in there or it might be hard to close the zipper. This interior material, the black, if I got a little bit of toothpaste on it and it was, it was hard to clean. I had to scrub it quite a bit, um, but it wasn't impossible to get it off. It's kind of like clothy, like kind of like to compare it to a car again, like old school, like the back of a headrest material. I'm not sure if this is uh, the recycled seatbelts or not. I'm not sure where that made its way into the, the pouch here. Um, but it does kind of like, it's like if you grind something in, like if you're some toothpaste were to get off and kind of grind its way into that material, it is pretty hard to get it off. Um, but to kind of get around that, you can put your toothpaste in a bag or something like that. And also I think up here is the best place for your tooth, toothpaste and toothbrush just because it's quick to access. These are the things you're probably going to need most often. So if you put those in this little zipper pocket, they're safe and sound in there. Um, they're not getting intermixed with the Bohemoth main area here. But this is also a good place if you have your toothpaste, toothpaste and toothbrush somewhere else. You could put band-aids in there or other small items you don't want to get intermixed with everything else. You know, maybe like just a couple quick safety items. Um, like some Neosporin or something like that. But having the little extra zippered area to keep away from this big main compartment is nice because things do get lost in here pretty easily, especially if you have big items and small items. The small items can kind of weave their way in between the big items. Close that up. As you can see, we have a little mirror here, which is going to be hard to show you. Um, I guess I'll say my beef with it is because you, gotta, you need to look at it to really see what I mean. It's very, very close up. So when I look at it, like if I were to look at it from the distance I am away from it right now, you can kind of see there is I just get my eyes and, you know, a small portion of my face. So you don't get a full view of your face. You're just getting, you know, a small feature, which is good for if you're doing like makeup or if you're doing eye makeup or something like that. Or if you're shaving and you need like a really, really close look to shave. Um, but if you're trying to get a whole look at yourself to make sure you look okay before you're going to do something, it's not the best. But it does come out, which is nice, so you can kind of put it out in front of you if you need to, so you can get a, a good look. Um, but even like that, like I'm looking, I can get basically from just above my eyebrows to just below my mouth. And it's, I don't know, it, it, it's not very clear either, it doesn't feel like. Like when I look at it, it almost seems a little distorted. But it's not a mirror, so like you can uh, hit it, it's not going to break. So that's nice, and I've never had a toiletry uh, bag or case that had a mirror, so that is a nice addition compared to never having one before. But overall, this you know you can really fit a ton of stuff in here, and I honestly, as a toiletry bag, I liked this thing, but I think it has uses other than that that are worth noting. Like this is my Fuji X-T3 mirrorless camera with a 15 to 45 lens on it, and you see it fits in there nicely. And the zipper is a little hard to close once it's in there, but it does close. And then you've got basically like a little pouch for your camera or I mean really whatever else you wanted to put in there. And it doesn't have a ton of padding, but if it's inside your backpack and your backpack has padding, that's not the biggest deal. But as you can see, there is a lot of like dead space there too. So you could put other stuff in here too. Like you could put different accessories or different, you know, tech items in there too. And if you're using this as like a little camera bag, you could open this up and put your, you know, SD cards, whatever you need to, that you want a little more safe to be put in there. So it really is a dynamic pouch and you can, you know, this is not by any means the biggest camera on the market, but it's a pretty large, you know, size mirrorless camera. It's not a compact camera by any means. And it fits in there and it closes up nicely. And it's like a unique little bag to put whatever you might need in it at the time. So pull that out of there real quick and close it back up. And just to compare it to um, another toiletry bag, we have the uh, Peak Design small wash pouch right here. And this is a liter and they're about the same size. They're a little bit different form factor. And this one is kind of the accordion open we were talking about. So if you had something on the bottom there, it's, um, and you had a bunch of stuff stacked on top, it's even harder to see that it's even there compared to this one, because you have more like access to it, because it's not as deep. You only have like, you know, two inches here. There's a part to you know, four or five inches there. You don't have any organization in here. You could kind of make your own organization if you wanted to, but this definitely wins in organization. But being able to see all your stuff in this one is nice. And I think I do prefer the, 
the look of this one. It's very unique. And if you didn't know it was your toiletry bag, like if you're just someone looking at it, you probably wouldn't think it was a toiletry bag. It really does have a unique look. And it all depends, you know, what style you go for. Like this is very uh, minimalist, the Peak Design one, and it looks very nice and we'd like this one a lot. But this one does have the, the unique factor to it and not many people are gonna have this one. So it's definitely uh, something people are gonna ask you about if they run into you while you're using it. So there you have it, the Freetog F35 Cheyenne. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.